Out of the potential dangers was resulting from these unusually high lake levels in West Michigan this summer, public safety departments are issuing advisories to boaters, swimmers, and anyone else who is out near the water. 13 on your side's Kylie Ambu explains why. High water doesn't just affect boating and fishing, but it can create serious problems for businesses as well as safety issues for water recreation. This is supposed to be my nice car. Water continues to rise across the lake shore. The river's supposed to go up about another 12 inches before it crests. Which has led areas like Ottawa and Allegan County to send safety alerts to residents and businesses. I think we've distributed over 1,200 sandbags. We're having more delivered this afternoon. In addition to sandbags and makeshift ramps, many businesses are cutting the power to their breakers that sit near the rising tide. Water and electricity don't mix. Preventing the risk for electric shock drowning, which occurs when swimmers are exposed to electric currents in the water. More and more they're finding possibly that ESD has caused the heart to stop and that's how they drown. If you're taking a bath, you drop a toaster or whatever in there. It's not a good thing to do. You know, same idea, same principle. Marinas and businesses can test their water for electric current. Commonly they'll buy a meter and they'll test for millivolts in the water. Any little amounts of current, they call it straight current. And Saugatuck Fire Chief Greg Janik says there have already been five positive tests in Allegan County. Because you can have a boat that comes in, a transient boat, that can change the whole dynamics of electricity in the water. It's not just a power connection or a main disconnect underwater. While many areas are getting their water tested, Janik says swimmers should ask marinas and businesses if their water is safe before hopping in and urge them to test their water if they haven't already. Has anybody checked this? Are you aware of this? In Saugatuck, Kylie Ambu, 13 on your side.